assalamu alaikum everyone today i will solve this problem by using the bisection method the problem says uh, find a root of equation uh, x cube minus 4x minus 9 equals to 0 using the bisection method correct to three decimal places so uh, when we are starting the problem first we have to find and uh, uh, find the interval in which the root actually lies for that we have done some initial iteration starting from x equals to 0 then till x equals to 3 to find where the inter, uh, where the root actually lies so we can see that when x is equals to 0 f of 0 is coming negative minus 9 and when x equals to 1 f of 1 is also negative that is minus 12 uh, when x equals to 2 uh, uh, the f of 2 is uh, again coming minus 9 that is still negative but when we reach x equals to 3 the f of 3 is positive 6 now we can see that the f of x uh, value sign changes between x equals to 2 to x equals to 3 so our interval in which the root actually lies will be x equals to 2 and x equals to 3 so for our initial approximation as as first approximation to the root uh, by using the bisection method will be x1 equals to half 2 plus 3 equals to 2.5 and uh, we will now check the value of f of x1 by uh, putting the value of x1 into the given equation and we found that it is coming minus 3.375 that is negative so the uh, root will lie in an interval whose uh, f of x value uh, f of x is uh, have, have the opposite sign so uh, we can see that as it uh, f of x1 is negative and uh, previously for f of 3 the value is coming uh, positive so the root must lie between x equals to 3 and x1 that is 2.5 so our second approximation to the root is x2 equals to half x1 plus 3 this is x1 i made a mistake so that's why so uh, for our second approximation uh, of the root uh, is x2 equals to half x1 plus 3 equals to uh, given half 2.5 plus 3 that is coming 2.75 so we will now check the value of f of x2 by putting the value of x2 into the equation so that it is uh, coming positive 0.7969 now that is positive so the uh, root must lie between x equals to 2 and x equals to 1 so for a third approximation to the root uh, is x3 equals to half x1 plus x2 equals to half 2.5 plus 2.75 that is coming 2.625 now we will again check the value of f of, uh, f of x3 uh, by putting the value of x3 into the equation and we found that f of x3 is coming minus 1.4121 that is negative now uh, the root must lie between x2 and x3 so our fourth approximation to the root is x4 equals to uh, 1 over 2 bracket uh, open x2 plus x3 bracket close so uh, that is coming 2.6875 now repeating this process uh, we will obtain the following uh, successive approximation that is x5 is equals to 2.7 uh, 2.71875 uh, then x is x6 is coming 2.70313 x7 is coming 2.71094 and so on till we found that x10 is 2.70605 and 2. Uh, and x11 is 2.70654 so where do we actually stop we can see that uh, in x equals to 10 and x equals x x 10 and x 11 that when uh, that when x 10 and, and x 11 is written to exact uh, correct to three decimal places as we've been told in the problem 
are similar here you can see that x10 is 2.70605 and x11 is 2.70654 the three decimal places uh, are 706 and they are similar in x11 that is 706 so when this occur we will stop uh, and we will write the root so the root correct to three decimal places is 2.706 and that will be our answer and we will stop our bisection method here so uh, and a note here is that if we were given any pre-specified accuracy of f of x say uh, exponent minus exponent 3 exponent minus 3 or exponent minus 4 so when it is reached we will stop there and state the root or we can proceed further with the bisection method till the desired accuracy is achieved so uh, we can uh, write the value of root when the desired uh, accuracy is reached or we have reached the pre-specified accuracy of f of x so for this problem our answer uh, our root is 2.706 okay so thank you for watching uh, and for any questions uh, you can comment below the video and my email address will be given uh, also so thank you for watching